Hey Bulla, how are you? Yes, Tom, I'm fine. Hey Bulla, yesterday's ma- cricket match in our school was awesome, right? Yeah, Tom, yesterday's opener Rahul played very well. Yeah, Bulla, he was so energetic, da. He consistently played very well because of his energy. Oh, okay. But what is energy? In tomorrow's physics class, ma'am is going to teach. We'll see you there. Energy. We shall be repeatedly dealing with the term energy. It is undoubtedly we know that it is one of the most important physical concept. What is important? Yes, it is representing a physical entity of common to all forms of matter. And life is impossible without energy. And we use energy to do work. and make all movements and let us see some examples transforms of energy into work when we run or walk do some physical work obviously we are using energy cars planes trains the various machines which are transforming the energy which is seeing on the screen different types of energy which is electrical energy heat energy potential energy chemical energy atomic energy kinetic energy all those things are a different form of energy different forms of energy yes where do we get all this energy from Do you have any idea about this? Yes. In fact, most of our energy needs are met by the sun. We are derive energy from earth that is geothermal energy we can say from wind that is wind energy, tides in the ocean that is ocean energy from water we are getting that is hydro energy biomass bio energy like a different form of energy we have from different energy resources right yes what are the scientific conception of energy in science the term energy has a much more precise and we can define the meaning as it clear in the following examples you can get more and more idea and you can relate the energy with scientific concept point 1 they have given a man or a horse does work when they pull a load so the time it's spent some energy to do the work compresses air in a cylinder causes the motion of the piston in it and thus it performs work a moving body can set other bodies into motion when it collides with each other these are all some of the examples i have given so in general we can say that any body whether it's animate or inanimate which is able to perform work is said to possess some energy right from that we can say that energy is mean what so you can understand more clear than seeing this slide how does an object with energy do work see an object that possess energy can exert a force on another object right when this happens energy is transformed from one body to another right the second object may move as it receives energy and therefore do some work does the first object had a capacity to do the work this implies that any object that possess energy can do work energy that we can finally figure it out about defined as it capacity for doing work 
or capability of doing work is it right so the capability of doing work which is nothing but energy the capacity for doing work and it is measured by the total quantity of work it can do and we can say that the ability to do work or the energy which is stored work so there is always a transfer of energy whenever work is done we can see the unit of energy the unit of energy is same as the work is it clear that is what is the unit of work joule and one joule is the energy required to do one joule of work so we can say one kilo joule is equals to 1000 joule so we can go ahead with the assessment right from the above slide you can understand that about clearly energy and before the video you may see about what is work so we can relate and we can ask some questions is energy a vector quantity no it is a scalar quantity question 2 what is the relation between joule and newton yes 1 joule which is equal to 1 newton into 1 meter what is meant by energy yeah of course it is capacity for doing work you you are right the next and the final question how is the energy of an object measured yes the quantity of work thank you children